she said like, oh, if uh, I'm making a film, you know, I'm you know I'm involved in the production of the film, would love to use a new song, and we we're like, yeah, cool, anything you want, like go for it, you know. So I, I remember, I think we played her the whole of the Black Holes and Revelations album, maybe I think maybe before it even came out, and uh, and she just kind of picked out, like, you know, her and the filmmakers picked out a song that they loved, which was Supermassive Black Hole, and uh, so yeah, that getting in the film was it, it made a really big difference to us in America, in, in particular, our shows went from being kind of mostly rock, you know, pretty much a rock crowd, you know, like especially like people, you know. We're kind of like we have elements of hard rock. So we'd have a lot of kind of people that are into um, you know rock, hard rock as well coming to our shows, a lot of mosh pits and stuff. Suddenly the shows were flooded with teenage girls. Basically, it was like it was a pretty it was a pretty big surprise because we never really thought that you know our audience really actually kind of for the first time only, only lasted for a couple of years, but it kind of pivoted towards majority women in the audience, and that was uh, and that was actually great. You know, it was really nice and it changed the energy of the shows, and I think it probably had a lot of influence on on the way we saw our audience as well as being like not just kind of like angry men, you know. <laughs> 